in the infinitely expanding universe. This is where energy unfathomable to humankind is overflowing. In the search for this unknown energy, many researchers have challenged outer space. The time is cosmic year 2000X. The Bomb Research Laboratory, led by Professor Ai, has succeeded in mining bomb elements with this secret energy. For the peaceful utilization of this strange power, a space freighter carrying bomb elements made up of six crystals has departed for Planet Bomber. However, the evil Hickey Hickey bandits scheming for domination sent a hired gun to seize the bomb elements. And so, the great battle for the bomb elements begins. Bomberman Generation! All right, adventurers. Welcome to All Play. Today we're going to start playing Bomberman Generation. It's a game. Oh no, my controller again. Bomberman Generation! Alright, I think I fixed my controller. I have no idea how long this playthrough is going to go because, <laughs> because this keeps happens, happening every time I try to sit down and play this. Nonetheless, we're going to play Bomberman Generation. We're going to play through story mode. Story mode is pretty dope. I play, I've played this game a long time ago. I don't remember it. I don't remember it. I just remember Pommy right there. Pommy, the one jumping in the background, is one of my favorite characters. Let's let's do us a normal game. Here we go. This is uh, the GameCube for those of you wondering. Hey. Okay. Let's see. Let's delete this file. This was clearly me testing this out a year or two ago. All right. Let's go. Let's play us a little bit of Bomberman. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, there you are, Bomberman. It's me, Professor Ein. You may have already heard. The space freighter, which was on its way to Planet Bomber, carrying bomb elements with the secret of the unknown energy, has been attacked by an unknown entity and destroyed. It appears the six bomb elements loaded on the freighter have been pulled in by the gravity of nearby planet tentacles, thereby scattering them all over the planet. We have received information that our evil foe, the Hickey Hickey Bandits, led by Mujo, are making large-scale moves towards planet tentacles. It is clear that the Hickey Hickey Bandits are involved in the attack of the freighter. <sighs> if even one bomb element falls into their hands, then space will be of the Hickey Hickey Bandits, please! That would be a terrible thing! Here is the plan, Bomberman. Immediately go to Planet Tentacles. You must retrieve all six bomb elements before they do. Uh, we have also received more troubling news. The Hickey Hickey Bandits are headed for Planet Tentacles with our rival, the Crush Bombers. I'm sure you already know to keep your guard up, Bomber Man. You may have an easy time. But just to be on the safe side, I'll send Max, who's here right now. I'm 
gonna do it my way. All right, we don't have time to waste. Get going immediately to Planet Tentacles. Good luck, Bomberman. Time to depart. All right. That was the longest intro to a story I've ever witnessed in my life. Okay. So when the game begins, you have access to three different worlds. There's Tentasia, Octo Ocean, and the Taco Desert. Uh, you can go to either one. Uh, but for, for the sake of keeping stuff in order, today we're going to start in World 1, Tentasia. Oh, we'll do 1-1, one, one, the Octopi Woods. To the forest. All right, and then this is the level that's pretty much going to teach us the basics of the game. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I love Bomberman, so I'm going to try my best to teach this at a level where people who haven't played Bomberman games before can understand. Bomberman, as his name denotes, specializes in using bombs. He puts down a bomb with the A button. It blows up over time. He's got a little small radius for his bombs. You can tell the power of its bombs by the little flame symbol in the bottom left corner. Not the one with the bomb behind it, but the one to the right of that, the one in the middle. One ba basically means that our power for our bombs is as low as possible. It's not that strong. So what we need to do is pick up power-ups that will make our bombs much stronger. I'm trying to kill this enemy, and I'm not doing bad on purpose. I swear I'm trying to kill him. There we go. Now, it doesn't. the bombs don't deal more damage. As that number increases, the radius for your blast gets bigger. And then these pots normally hold stuff, not all the time, but they'll hold items and powers and things. Uh, as you can see at the top right, I have three hearts. So if I take damage, I will lose a heart. Or I'll, I'll, I'll have part of a heart left. Uh, that heart that I just picked up will restore my health in the event that I took damage. I'm going to try my best not to. All right. So just like I can increase the radius of my bombs with a flame power-up or a fire-up power-up, with this uh, skate, I will be faster. It's called the speed-up power-up. Bomberman said, speed up, you speed up, family. Lamb. And then this power, this thing right here makes it so that I can put down more than one bomb. So if we think at the flame with the bomb behind it has a one, that means at most I can put down one bomb at a time. If I want to put down more... I gotta wait for that bomb to explode so I can put it down. If I pick up this though, I'll bomb up and I'll be able to put down more than one bomb at a time. These are all things that you actually need to know because a lot of them play a huge part in things you can and can't do in the game. There'll be times where you actually need to have more than one bomb. So now we have three bombs, perfect. So I can put one there, I can throw one here for fun, and I can put one here game is also trying to teach me that I can interact with the environment by putting the vase right by this tree. So when I put the bomb by the vase, it also blew up the tree as well. And it moved this rock out the way. Let's see. So let's keep it moving. I'll tell you what I need to do here, but I believe Professor Ein is going to do so. To move the boulders, make a big bomb. Try lifting the bomb. It will grow into a big bomb. Okay, so if I put a bomb down and, and don't move from it, and th I can press A again to throw it. I can, I can walk around and throw it where I want it to go. So let's say I actually wanted to put the bomb here, and I messed up. I messed up. What I can do, I can grab the bomb and move it, throw it this way, throw it around yonder. What you also saw was me kicking the bomb. If you walk into a bomb, you can kick it. If it's against the wall, obviously it's not going to go anywhere. Now, what Professor Iron was saying is if I, if I want to drop a big bomb, I pick up a bomb and just hold it for a second. It'll glow until it's a big bomb. Big bombs deal much more damage, and they're much more powerful. I'm sorry, they don't deal more damage. They're much more powerful. You can tell by the radius of the bomb. So we can proceed. It moves big rocks like this out the way. All right, we got four bombs. I'm pretty sure the power-ups are randomized. I shouldn't say randomized, it's not a good word. What I mean to say is they're, they're chosen at random. 
I believe they're chosen at random. Like, I'm not guaranteed to get anything. I'm not guaranteed to get anything in any any given location. Uh, one of the things I can do, I can stun the enemies very momentarily if I kick a bomb into them. Very momentarily. You gotta use it to get strengths. So what I could do, just put it down, wait for the bomb to get closer to when it's gonna explode, and do it that way. Gotta play smart. Let's see. So we've seen that we can knock down trees. We need that here. Oh, we need better bombs. That's the only way we can cross this water. Bomb man can't swim. Bomb man can't swim. So the only way to get across this river is to blow that down. Blow that down. You might be asking. Oh wait. Use the big bomb. Use the big bomb. Okay, you got it, fam. Damn it! I should have did that smarter. I should have ended that that menu at a better time when they were gonna be closer to get closer to the ball. If I was smart, I would have did it. <laughs> if I was smart, I would have did it. Here we go. There are also oh never mind. I shouldn't get into that. Okay, so you should be asking. You might be asking, what are those those lightning bolts at the bottom of the screen? If you complete certain objectives over the course of the game. I'm sorry, over the course of the level, you'll you'll uh, get those lightning cards. I've actually, I feel like it'd be interesting to try and get all the lightning cards. I don't know for a fact that I'll be able to do it. I want to get them all without looking it up. You guys know I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at achievements and things like that. So let's see. We'll, we will find out. Big bomb. It took down a tree that we couldn't see. Mm. Jump down into the tree stumps. All right. We got another enemy. This enemy is actually a little bit more aggressive than the plants. If he sees you, he might move towards you. If he sees you, he might move towards you. Whoop. Let's try it. Let's try a little bit better. Dang. Hey, fam. Tighten up. Tighten up. Ah, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to get him. What we can do, what I can try to do is trap him. Never mind. He's dead. Forget it. Another heart. They expected me to take damage by now. I guess they expected me to take damage by now. All right, let's see. So the tree stumps work like portals. They work like portals. All right, so this is the fire up power I was talking about. It'll make the radius of my bomb blast a little bit bigger. I'll show you the difference here. When I pick it up, it's not going to affect this first one I put down, but it will affect every one I put down after. So that's one, and that's two. Two is very slightly bigger. And then speed up, of course, makes me faster once again. It's um, it's it's very slightly different, but like the difference between minimum, the minimum amount, and the maximum is very clear. It's very clear. Come on. Uh oh, damn! I took my damage. I took my damage. Okay, so it appears our bombs do deal more damage. I think the bombs affect me the same way they affect enemies. So, for example, uh, four small hearts makes one big heart. I think I would have only gotten one point of damage had I still had one uh, or, or bomb fire up level one. You see, did I go this way? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. We had five bombs. I believe once I've reached the maximum, I believe once I've reached the maximum, the numbers will change colors. So we'll, we'll find out what the, the maximum is. I think I know. I think I know what all the maxes are. And like I said, it's been a while. Yep, there we go. I can have at the most six bombs. I'd have at the most six bombs on one screen at any given time. There's another big rock. Now I can't kick the big bomb. The big bomb does not get kicked. It's too big. All right, so that cut off the water supply. And it seems as though I've created a passage. It seems as though I've created a passage in which to pass. I ain't even get him. I ain't even get him. Yep, okay. So I was right. My bombs affect me just as they would enemies, it seems. Gotti. You gotta use a little bit of strategy for some of these enemies because they have, they have weird patterns. They have weird patterns if you want to try and kill them. Got him. All right. 
so we can proceed this way. Let's head up here just to, just to make sure there's nothing. Sometimes they will hide stuff, so we gotta we gotta we gotta investigate every. We gotta investigate every. Oh, what is this? Oh, look at that! It's a fish. It's a fish. All right. So in the Bomberman universe, I'm not sure when they were introduced, but there are these characters called Kara Bombs. Uh, they they effectively battle for you. They do. They they're your companions and they're friends, and they often even give you special abilities. This one's Andlar. Andlar's got a really cool ability that I think we need. We actually need it. Uh, change screens to equip Kara Bombs by pressing the Z button. Equip care bombs by pressing the X button and select them using the C stick. Okay, so now you see at the bottom right, I've got a thing that says not equipped. I can get, which button is it? There we go. I can get Andalar very easily by coming here. You see he has level three. Huh, what does that mean? Well, if we go to the care bomb select screen, you can see on the right side for Andalar, uh, that he has a level, he has HP, and he has four stats. I'll get into those later. Uh, he also has an ability called Power Glove. Greater height and distance of thrown bombs. Adjust throw by the control stick. Dope. Okay, so as we, we've seen before, oops. We've seen before that we can throw bombs. This is me throwing a bomb. This is what me throwing a bomb looks like. With no no special power. I should probably move, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's do just a standard bomb so it's a little easier to see and a little less deadly. There we go. Now, if I have Anlar equipped, this is me throwing that same bomb, same position. It threw, it went higher. The throw was higher. Let's do it again to see. Now, while bombs are out, I can't switch what care bomb I have. I'll try and do it quickly so it's... A little bit easier to see. <sighs> but that's the difference. That's the difference between having Anlar equipped and not having him equipped. Um, all of the Care Bomb's abilities are named after items that you can have in battle mode. Just go fire up. If I pick up this bomb up, nothing happens. He doesn't give me a seventh bomb. I don't get one in reserve. These containers may hold Care Bomb feed. Collect the feed and your Care Bomb will become stronger. All right. Gather them up. Get all of them. You got it. Okay. So, like I said, there's stats here on the right side. Uh, the first one, the red, the sword with the red background is attack. The shield is defense. I think the star is special, and the wing is agility. Again, they're all going to come into effect very soon. Uh, let's see. One, four, four, and three. Attack of one, defense of four, special of four, and speed of three. I'm, damn it, I keep hitting the wrong button. I'm saying that because once I pick these up, the stats will change. Oh, all the stats go up. Each one going up once. Yep. Each stat went up once. And then you see, excuse me, you see the level also went up. I forget what, what determines their level. I forget what determines the, the care bomb. Oh, God. This is going to get old, me hitting the wrong button. I forget what determines that level, but we're going to find out. We'll be, we'll be able to find out eventually. Let's head down yonder. Use bomb kicks. Use bomb kicks. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to make fun of Professor I. <laughs> He's actually a really cool character. Okay. So, bomb kicks uh, is basically when I kick the bomb. We've done this already. Uh, I, this, this level here, this area here is to teach you how to kick a bomb. Because once you get near these plants, they'll go down. Clearly, I want to put bombs in these holes, but I can't. I can't get there. I can't. They won't stay open. So what I can do? Just kick the bomb in, and we can do it again. And we can do it again. I'm actually really close to that one. All three. What's inside? Secret surprise inside? Yes. Now the potion doesn't correlate to any of the care bomb stats and instead gives everything one he gives every stat one point easy way to get your stats up 